going to burn it. Okay. Oh, I want to burn it so Whoa, bad. whoa. No, 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 no. We're going to burn it. Oh, wait. We don't know. Can somebody sneak up to the, make sure there's no kids yeah, what, inside? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Shun the bandersnatch. I shun me. <sighs> Back into the lake. Altogether two from you. Yes. It worked. Holy shit, it worked. It went away. It worked. We know how to D&D. No violence. We're looking for children and victims and things. Looking for children to be victims, okay? No, 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 no. Would they enjoy a burning tree? Hey, oh. hey! We're out here. We want to talk to you. What's your name? What's your name? Tutin and come to the door and look Scabatha. out. Scabatha! Scabatha! You bitch! Scabatha! Scabatha, you bitch! Scabatha's an ugly bitch! Scabatha! Oh, Scabatha's an ugly bitch! Scabatha's an ugly bitch! I hide behind this an ugly bitch! I take the hide action. <laughs> like, I, I kind of loosen myself over here with the window. Let's do this. Let's do this. Uh, two, 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 all four of the tin men come to the door. Yeah. Uh, and, th and behind them, the uh, and, uh, nope. <laughs> a, a thin, elven-looking man, but with very dark skin and, uh, and, and a mask over everything but his eyes and a hood up. Very dark. Um, you make an edge check. Um, he comes up behind them, staying in the sh shade of the tree. Right, ten. Inside. Eighteen? Ten. Oh, ten. Plus nature? Oh, sorry, it's ten, including oh, nature. Ten total. Um, you feel they like you vaguely remember them from some kind of quest that you've been on with an adventurer. You're not sure exactly what they. You've got like a kind of an evilly vibe from them, but you can't exactly remember what they are. Um, he looks out and says, "Scabblethorn is not here. Can I take a message? Oh. Where where is she then? She's out collecting. Oh. <laughs> okay." <laughs> Wait, so this, but this is her house? She lives here, yes. Fuck. <sighs> I'm so what? tired. When will she be back? Within when six minutes? Her. Within six minutes? <laughs> Five. Five? <laughs> it's like two teenage boys have shown up to have a fight with their friend and he's <laughs> like, Brian! Come out, Brian's come not outside. here. Oh. oh. When's he when coming on? <laughs> Scabbath is an ugly bitch! Scabbath is an ugly bitch! Scabbath is an ugly bitch! What the hell are you doing? Oh! Hey, is... Uh, is... Is Scabbath her home? No, she isn't. <laughs> what? Where is, where is she? Where is she? Because we've got... we got a bone to pick. to have her hair. She's out collecting. Do you... Any... Any idea when... When she'll be back? Yeah. 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 What? Scabbath is a bear. Yeah, she is. She's a bear. She'll be back when it suits her. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, she sounds like a bitch. She sounds like a, exactly. She sounds <laughs> like a bitch. Pow. You behind you in the forest, Baradun, you hear um, sounds of footsteps approaching. They are heavy, uh, heavy and thick footfalls. <laughs> Looking behind, make a perception check for me. See if you can ascertain where they're coming from in the forest. <laughs> What was it? A one. one. Baradun is so dumb. He literally just turns around with this. He's having a bad roll day. He's he tries to turn around, around but he's just looking at the tree though. Be, be, can't see anyone but he this He turns tree. around 360 exactly. It's <laughs> the same way. You hear the sounds, you can't place where they're coming from though. Man, I've had some bad rolls today. Yeah. <laughs> You've had some um, shockers. Bob, can you make a perception check please? Sure can. One! Do you also get a one? Yep. Wow, okay. So I also do a three second. Yeah, wow. No. Bob, I heard a noise. You know what? Guys, Somehow walking between This direction looks exactly you. the same as that direction. Well, I didn't have a noise. The two of you here, what, uh, as you're shouting at Scabba, there's an ugly bitch and all this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Holding your she weapon. Is. You hear from right behind you, standing right behind you. I would not do that if I were you. And you turn around to see a very large warforged oh. paladin. Standing behind you, Paladin. with a uh, a very large, a very large statue to him. He's got a gemstone in the in the center of his forehead, which is a, uh, a oh, ruby red. Um, and uh, what else was number four, number fourteen wearing? Uh, I don't think he was wearing anything. He, he was literally <laughs> just, just metal wearing nothing at all. Oh, nothing at all. Made of nothing metal, so he didn't really need nothing to. So uh, as number fourteen. 
from the isolation game. Well, he yeah. has he has the tattoo on his. Oh, oh is well, this, not is a tattoo, is this the yeah, number, yeah, yeah. Uh, number fourteen from the isolation games? And th- that was uh, your automaton. No, you My were character. you were the. Oh right, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah well, yeah. you were Zaza and he was Elfie. That's yeah. right. And you were the guy who died. Um, um, <laughs> what? Uh, I mean, Adam's perception hand. check, but also Baradun perception check. Baradun was the one that commissioned. The uh, Baradun or? wasn't the one that commissioned him. Uh, you are technically in charge of him um, and had access to him, but never used it. Kelethak commissioned him. Kelethak had uh, command of them mentally during the war, yeah. uh, and then high source, part of the high sorcerer duties is that that command was passed on to you when you became high sorcerer, and you just never used them. Because there was only him left alive. And would I remember that? Uh, well, you don't even see him. You, okay. He just managed to somehow walk through. through. Yeah. He was coming from over here, so you were the first to see him, and you missed. Mm. <laughs> he walked through the middle of you. You wow. missed him as well, and, he's, and he now managed to walk all the way up behind you two. Do you hear that? Yes, it's, it's footsteps. Yeah. Was it, it's coming from this way? No, I think it's coming from this way. It's over here somewhere. I've, I think I heard it behind. No. Okay, maybe those. Maybe we're hearing things. Maybe there must be nothing. Okay. That was strange. Busy he looks down digging and around says, my satchel. Like, hmm? I would not do that. Scabatha is uh, is due to be home. She will not take lightly to you attacking her home. Yeah, right. right yeah, to be you, honest, that you was raise good. a good point. Oh, you oh you raise a good point. We didn't think of that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad I could be of help. And that was walked, that. No, no, that was sarcasm. <laughs> I, 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 I hear the voice. He walks past you, and he's carrying a huge bundle of raw wood in his hands. <laughs> That'll burn well. <laughs> well, especially you hear the voice. What, are Much they talking to you now? And you pop out from behind the tree, and you can see the, the Warforge. Like, I, I hear the voice, and obviously, Warforge voice is something that's uh, very unique and distinct. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and unfortunately, I don't have the same filter that you were using yeah, for the no, isolation games. <laughs> My name is Number Fourteen. My name is Number Fourteen. There you go. Um, and I quickly pop up to him and ask if he's a Warforge. Uh, uh, excuse me, big middle man, stop. Um, uh, I have heard legend of you, uh, a legend of your kind at least. Uh, are you a warforged? I am a warforged. Oh, I thought I was going to get more information <laughs> than that. That's great. Brilliant. Yeah, okay. uh, I should have can asked. A I should have his- asked a more open-ended question. Can you make a, a history check for me, please? Uh, twenty. Twenty. Not twenty. The yeah. Plus uh, you definitely remember the history of the Warforged being created to uh, fight the Orcs of Shmagenrog. They, they did a fantastic job, but they were just very expensive to make, and so they were decommissioned. Uh, they, they, there were two waves of them, uh, a wave of six, and then another, uh, another 14 that were made after that. And then you've also heard tale of the, the, the technology um, of the, the Warforged being out there, so that there may be others uh, that are non-official. This one definitely looks like everything you've read about it in your in your history lessons, uh, you've definitely read about this type of Warforged. You're pretty sure it's one of the original 20. And it has number 14 scratched. It has number 14 <laughs> scratched onto it. And um, what's more yeah, is though, with an at 20, and... you're pretty sure that the, the the control that people had over them uh, as, high, as High Sorcerer, Kalathak, and then you, it came from a, a connection that was linked uh, between all of the different Warforged through the use of an arcane gem embedded in their forehead. But you're pretty sure that the gem, for its magical arcane uh, qualities, was a yellow tourmaline. And this guy's got a little ruby in his forehead. Oh. Mm. So if that is all, I need to get back to work. Oh, whoa, whoa, no, 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 that's not all, just turn around. I just stick my head out from going like, <laughs> What? Oh. That's a big thing. <laughs> so, uh, what, what, what did you say about the gem, sorry? You, the gem's... Not it, something that you would have known. It used to be a yellow... Yellow but now it's a red, red gem. Yeah. Um, I heard that all of the Warforged had been decommissioned. What are you doing here? I was never decommissioned. I was the only one to survive the war. And what are you doing here? I am working. Working for... Uh, Scabatha. Uh, Sc- why are you working for Scabatha? Don't, well, please don't walk away from me until we're finished our conversation. <laughs> That's incredibly rude. Do you know who I am? I do not. I am the High Sorcerer of the Temple of Kalabor. Technically your master. Should you have said that? <laughs> oh, yeah. probably, probably you do give that information. I mean, <laughs> I mean, it's so quite funny. Who you sorry, tell? sorry. I mean, my name's Steve. <laughs> did I say Baradun? You said you said you a lot. Did of them. You, no, you, you didn't. didn't. Did I say? <laughs> no, you didn't. Did I not? <laughs> no. I mean, my name's Steve. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh man. I think we have to kill him now. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! Don't walk away.
away from me when I'm talking to you. Goodness, I am the High Sorcerer. Oh, uh, maybe don't mention that to the evil hag's robot. Oh, I mean, I'm not Baradun. Oh, you didn't mention that. No, my name's Steven. Nice save. The amount of people, <laughs> the amount of bad guys you've just got. <laughs> by the way, I'm the High Sorcerer Baradun. I mean, no, I'm, not, I'm Steve. Ever since I lost all my powers and I'm really weak. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, go ahead, tell them more. Um, <laughs> wh wh why, why are you here? I am working. Um, I wouldn't have thought that a Warforge would have been working for a hag. Why, why are you working for Scabatha? I am working to collect wood. I see. He's trees ain't gonna chop himself down. And he just, just, he just turns to me. Okay. And I just call out considered. for what's it to call him back. <laughs> what's it? He comes back. He's just covered in blood. Hey, that's my boy. Now, now, <clears throat> now. I, 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 I Bodger wouldn't know anything about this, but I'm assuming if we could remove that gem, that would have something to do with what's controlling him. You, you'll be right about that. It might, it, like, it might, like. I, I've been yeah. studying this guy and this war forged. <laughs> <laughs> with your acting. How does, how does he walk? How does he walk? How does he talk? You do how know how he, he speaks. Mm, that is part of the active feature. Greg. My name is Greg. <laughs> my name is War Generic Warforge. Also, <laughs> is it Roger. just a coincidence that this is 14 out of 44? Is it actually? On the, war on the oh, Warforge. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, it is a coincidence because I had another one that I could have picked up that wouldn't have been. Well, shit. Huh. Where's the number? <clears throat> the the other one was number one. one. Huh. Yeah. So, yeah. so there's only one Warforged there, so if I literally pretended to be this guy and walked in, it would be very suspicious. Well, we don't know that there might be other Warforged out there, but kind of the history of number 14 from us. Yeah. Yeah. There were 10 men in there? There were 10 men in there. Well, we were told by the elf who looks, who we can all assume was telling us the truth. <laughs> the, 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 the hag wasn't running, so I guess there's yeah. no real point. I mean, say. like, I guess we could just wait out here and try and ambush her when she arrives. How about we go and as bust soon as the we door- see How her. about we go and bust the door down and tie up the elf guy? I've got it. Why don't I go in and craft a shield? <laughs> Do it. Sure, yeah, it's just as, as good as plan- I, I want to see what are, happens are you when just you gonna, just bust it in. I reckon, yeah, you just walk in, like, casual, yeah, natural. Ca just, just like, like alright right, boys. Yeah. Right, I'm gonna try that approach. I'm just yeah. gonna be like, as confident as anything. Confident as anything. You, you, you put on a high vis and grab a clipboard. It. <laughs> <laughs> the equipment <laughs> gained you access to anything. <laughs> They're coming up. So I, I get a couple of bits of wood and and, and I find. Uh, have you got like an iron ingot or something? Uh, like I have probably. Yeah, yeah it's it's scraps. Yeah, I got yeah, scraps. Yeah, you and I just take it. I'm just like. All right. Hey, buddies. You watch that? You watch as buddy wanders on into the workshop. go. Yeah, just gonna go by me. Ding ding. Yeah, just making a watch shield now. No. Uh, tell me about the shields. There's the, uh, there's so the buckler. You, you have, yeah, you have a buckler, which is, uh, it only gives you a plus one to your armor class, yeah. but it only takes a bonus action to equip or de-equip yeah. it. Then there's a regular shield, gives you a plus two to your armor class. Yeah. Uh, it takes an action to equip it or yeah. de-equip de it. There's a tower shield, which gives you a plus three to your armor class, but it gives you disadvantage on everything dexterity based. Uh, so I'm going to do a, a number two shield. Cool. Um, and that if you does take away your two-handedness of your weapon as well. If I, so I can choose to kind of like just not, yep. not be yeah, using it, but it gives me the option to have Action to de-equip his thing if yeah, he wants cool. to yeah. go two-handed. So that, that's going to give me plus two to armor effectively. If cool. I, yep, that um, is. Hey, uh, you, uh, you see, what do you mean of that? Uh, can I grab a, um, an iron thing that you have there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, ding, you. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> hey, yep, lad. And uh, no, no, I'm supposed to be here just doing some things, doing a bit of maintenance, making a few things. Can I grab that? No, nope, you can keep that, that's fine. No, 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 I assure you, we're supposed to be here. No, it's fine. Uh, it's, it's fine. So, Bodger, you, you stroll up uh, and you uh, arrive at the, gate, the, the, the door of this. <laughs> I can't believe we've gone from burn it down to actually, I'll just walk in and make a shield. <laughs> I've lost Poppy about this, though, Jay. Uh, yes, Poppy has disappeared. Um, there is a darkling in there and four tin soldiers. Tin I'm soldiers. super gutted when I put Poppy away. <sighs> so there's a war forged. Poppy goes away. A dark elf lord. Oh, and four goes. tin there soldiers. These guys are great. They're cool though. They're pretty dope. Um, there he is. There's the fourth. Reminds me of something out of like Psychonauts. Yeah. You, you, you try to walk in and the darkling elder comes right over and he says, 
Do you have business uh, sorry, in Scabbitha's workshop? I, I, w I walk in after him sorry, and mate. just go, oh uh, yeah, sorry, you can talk to me, Bodger, uh, continue. Oh, oh sorry, Bodger, uh, you just keep doing that. Oh, yeah, yeah, uh, sorry, yeah, I wanted to... Yeah, no, 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 you no, 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 I just wanted uh, to talk to you. Uh, so, talking about your your mistress, Scabitha, yes, yeah, she's, she's, she's a hag, yes, no. So, she's evil, isn't she? Yeah, no, she is an evil hag. Yeah, we'll come to kill her, we'll come to kill her, we'll come to kill her. Yeah, no, she she is uh, bad news for the surrounding land. Uh, well, let's, uh, ju let's just have a chat. You, you, As you, you, just, you just walk past. Walk past. Where's the, where's what, the is, what is your business in Scabbitha's workshop? Ah, oh, we're, we're just waiting for her. That's great. Waiting for her with <laughs> flamethrowers in said, hand, calling her an I ugly bitch. You said she'll be back soon, right? I just kind of wait awkwardly in the door because I don't know what to do. I think... I stay way back. I think... Anyway, this is, yes. a, this is a nice little workshop you've got here. So you're working on creepy, creepy toys for kids? <laughs> Booming market. Booming. Yeah, no. I, I mean, there's lots of kids around the world. You're like a creepy Santa. Yes, she will be back soon. Oh, good. You, were you just have, telepathically talking to yes, her? Yes, I was. Hey, um, Perfect. I got a fireball with her name on it. Baron, why didn't you just hurry up and get to work? Oh, huh? so you're threatening. Oh, yeah. Nice. You guys have very interesting, interesting strategies. strategies. Budget. Oh, sorry, budget. I'm budget. hoping you, that it's dink finished. Can you, uh, can you make, uh, mark off 10 gold pieces worth of equipment? <laughs> so just mark off 10 gold. Oh, okay. uh, oh my god. How do we ever survive anything? <laughs> Uh, you did real no, well against uh, the bandstand, guys. Yeah, 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 hold on did. to that high. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all down the hill from there. Cool. You, you mark off 10 gold as if you'd bought one. <laughs> and you get your materials together. Alright, let's go. You, you done, Bodger? Put, and do. you've got a shield. What does it look right. like? What do you think that's that? That and that should do. So, this, yeah, that's about it. Right, this will take all my years of training and crafting materials and wisdom that's been passed down through the ages. But with all this, I am ready to make this shield. That's finished. Hey. Um, she, she's on her way? Yes. We'll wait for her. We'll, we'll, we'll wait, wait out outside. here. Head on outside. Thank you very much. Thank, well. thank you for the Bye. As you go to leave, you, t you realize that the door has disappeared and you are now inside a tree. Oh. Greg. Are you uh, ever going to get in? <laughs> <laughs> From the outside, you just saw the roots that the roots that the gateway is oh. nestled between has just, just on the door I, on the I, other I side. I grab Bodger's So shoulder. Greg, it's me and you now. I, uh, I, well, I, 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 have you added that to your arm, armor class and everything? Uh, yeah, I just casually said, oh, open up, mate. <laughs> no, I don't just, think so. Uh, I, gra I, I grab Bodger's shoulder. I grab Bodger's shoulder and do dimension door. Awesome. All right. Immediately outside. Oh. As the two of you are looking around. Nice. This door opens, portal away! You step through it. And then as we go outside. through, I'll just be like, see, see, see you in a sec, uh, and see, <laughs> um, see Scavenger in a sec. We'll just be outside. <laughs> we'll just be outside. <laughs> awesome. Love it. Yeah, no, she's really bad news, so we're just gonna kill her, and that'll be that, and it'll be good. That's fine. Okay, right here, thank you right. very much. We'll thank be you very much. Off and up. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, just open up, blood. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll just go outside and then we'll come back later on when she's here and we'll kill her. Yep, you know, we'll just get up. Open her up. We're, we're in a, we'll be on our way. Okay, I mean, that's absolutely fine. Here we go, dimension door. Uh, and we're out, goodbye. Such, uh, such arrogance. Yeah. Alright, then the door immediately oh, opens behind you because he realises that closing it didn't really stop anything anyway. And he stands in the doorway watching you. I mean, we all really just sort of sat kind of just We all shun him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is our new strategy. Shun. It worked so well before. Yeah. Shun him that way. We shun him. Just shun Scabatha. That will go real well. Um, the Warforged. Where's, where's do, that? do we have another hero person that's supposed to be with us right now? <laughs> 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 what the fuck was she doing? I was just investigating <laughs> the mushrooms. Why are you? They're right. quite colorful. Oh, good no, 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 nobody cares. It's wonderful to have you here. The, the mushrooms were speaking to me. <laughs> She's becoming my favorite it's quite character. A, it's quite a beautiful garden. Uh, Shut up! <laughs> I don't know why you don't like me, Greg. Why are you still here? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you're, you're not even very good at fighting. You, like, you're not good I'm getting, at anything. I'm be getting now. better. She, she might be now. She's got her powers back. Don't <laughs> worry, Cancun. We're happy to have you here. Oh, God. Uh, uh, my name's... Speak for yourself. Your name is Cancun. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> we, should, we just, should we walk away from this and set up a down the road? Yep. Oh. oh my god, the, d the door's gone. That's a big problem. They're trapped. That's a really big problem. How are we ever going to solve that? Don't worry, we're oh. here. No, oh. it was actually no problem at all, really. Oh, you yeah. okay. Oh, really? Oh, great. Yeah, no. Well, 
Here we are. Yeah. All four of us. All yeah. accounted for. All 100%. One, two, three, four. The whole team. The whole crew. All no! Oh, oh God. God. Jesus Christ! Damn, Damn it, Cancun! Cannot stay! Ah! Oh. Oh. You always do that! Five. Who are you? I've oh. literally always been so here. Creepy and weird. You're so quiet. Like, make noise. You weirdo. Let's, is there a clear pathway like the, leading to the door? Like, uh, yeah, there is. Out let's go down. and lay down a pathway instead of a trap. The Warforged walks past, and on his way past you, Baradun, he says, Help me, just under his breath, as he walks towards um, the forest. I, qu I quickly run, I will not run after him, I follow. Um, Ca casually. Ca no. Casually catch up to him. Do the whistle. Um, <laughs> and uh, I've, I think I've got a dagger in my pouch, and I literally just, I, one, once we're, once we're, <laughs> no, just, once we're out of I help distance. him by stabbing him in the spine. <laughs> just, just once we're out of, once we're out of certain distance certain bits enough, of his once we're out joints. of distance enough, I just, into the uh, gem in the front of his forehead. It, as soon as it pops out, the, the, the ruby pops out into your hand, you can also write a ruby in your, um, <laughs> your inventory. Sure. Um, his eyes seem to <laughs> glow a little brighter. How, how are you feeling there, number 14? I am much better, thank you. Reporting for duty? Um, he tells you... I'll, I'll give you information that he knows, and then, as we did with Alfie, I want you to have a conversation yes. with him. <laughs> number uh, 14, Baradun. Here we go. <laughs> he, he happens to know that... Uh, da, 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 da. After the incident with Wraith and the orgy plague, that's definitely canon. Um, yep. He headed... Orgy plague. Orgy right. plague. He headed towards uh, Eastwatch and came across a carnival and there he was stolen, kidnapped and brought to Scabatha. She replaced his yellow tourmaline with a ruby and commands him. Um, he is manual labour in her workshop. She, she likes automat automatons particularly. He wants out. Eastwatch, wasn't you said? Eastwatch. He wants out and he knows one of Granny's weaknesses. He can help oh, you. Granny's a nickname. He yeah. can help you. He won't help you in the fight, uh, but he can help he you. He won't help us in the fight. Because I'm not going to have handled so many bloody NPCs. You're lazy. You're lazy. He'll, he'll be handling this guy, let's say. You're while, lazy. while other things are happening. I'm lazy. I don't want 17 NPCs in a fight. Um, oh, is that, this is our D. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I can handle him. I'll play two PCs. <laughs> I'll, play, I'll play two PCs. Um, okay, so I go tink. And the... Uh, um, out comes the ruby. Ruby. Comes out. Um, and I go, okay, you're feeling better? Yes, I am feeling a lot better now. Thank you, high sorcerer. Right, what, what, tell me why you ended up here. I was venturing with a party of amazing adventurers, and then after we killed... <laughs> after we... After we defeated a... What was she? Uh, Lamia. After we defeated a Lamia, I decided that I could use my skills to help the world. Okay, and keep going. Where'd you go after that? Then I went out to Eastwatch to see what the Orcs of Shmargenrog were doing in Eastwatch, and I came upon a carnival. Okay, I get, <laughs> you, you need to learn to keep elaborating. Maybe I'll open more uh, open-ended questions. What happened after that? Then I got con. Then I got conscripted slash. What's the word for oh, my mind controlled abducted by Scabatha who put the ruby in my head and I have been working for her hair ever since. Like vision. Mm -hmm. yeah. can, can you tell us anything about her? Yes, she has one. Well, she has a lot of weaknesses like <laughs> knives, but also one <laughs> big weakness. The weakness is that she, uh, uh, the first creature she sees when she wakes up is completely invisible to her for the rest of the day. She she completely she has complete face blindness to them. Anything they say, she immediately forgets. Mm -hmm. Anything if they if she's in the room with them, she doesn't notice it. Okay, so tell me what is, what is this weakness? The first I creature that she sees that. in the day is completely blind to her. Anything the creature says or does, she cannot see or hear, and she forgets immediately. Oh, I think that's going to be very useful for one of us. Um, I hope that's going to be me. Yes, it will be very useful. Hi, sorcerer. I love you. <laughs> he also. <laughs> oh, I think I you are my stuff. master. <laughs> so are how does that I help us? I literally. I he will knows. follow you I, to I the ends of the earth, okay. include fighting with you. <laughs> <laughs> There we go, number 14, how do you feel? I feel good. Okay, I thought you were going to talk for a little bit longer. 
How, how did you get here? I was helping some adventurers. Uh, and, and then what happened? We went to raid. Oh man, I need to ask more open-ended questions. What happened after that? We went to kill a Lamia. Really? I never went to that Wraith quest line. And what happened? An orgy. Okay, that's a very weird specific detail that I did not want to know. I did not partake because I don't have genitals. Yes, I can see that you do not have genitals. Let's move on from this line of questioning, please. What happened after that? I went to Eastwatch by myself, to where Eastwatch. I saw a cock of all, and a jester oh. man mind controlled me. I think we've met that jester. He is a weird... He's weird, isn't he? He's weird. And then I was brought here to Stabitha. And now you're here. Okay. Well, it's good to have you part of the team. You are going to become an ally that spends the rest of this campaign as part of Baradun and the Dickheads. And you are going to be a valuable asset that is fighting constantly with us in every single battle that goes on from here on outwards. Your new NPC that is being played by Rob that's going to help out because you're a paladin and you have heals. He, so let's wait for her to sleep. He also then. tells you that uh, she sleeps in a dollhouse. Ooh. Uh, she has the ability to shrink herself down or enlarge herself at will, almost. Um, oh. And she shrinks herself down and sleeps in a dollhouse. And she keeps a jar of moths near her bed so that the moths are the first thing, the first creature she sees every morning. If she know, if she can think back and remember all four of the moths in the jar then she knows that somebody else has taken a chance of her weakness. If she can't remember all four of them, she knows that she looked at one of the moths when she woke. Uh, I, I'm sure he, you guys heard the yeah, entire conversation he, that we had. He, 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 yeah, he, you he actually said very loud, it were right here. Congratulations. Uh, if you didn't already have it, I would give you inspiration for that. Hmm. Yeah, great work. Um, yeah, that's, her, that's her weakness. Uh, they, let's see. It's a strange, man, she needs to sort out her weaknesses because that's, <laughs> that's weird. Weakness. That's she needs to talk to somebody about that. Yeah, that the, the Babylon had a weakness as well, you just never got around to it. Oh, <laughs> well, we just smashed her. You just yeah, smashed her. We, we found a weakness. We found her weakness. Hammer in the head. <laughs> Hammer in the head. <laughs> Hammering her skull um, into a muscle pole is a weakness. We, shall we hide? Yeah, I reckon we hide. Because I'm thinking, here's what I was thinking. The moths thing has thrown me off. But I was thinking, I can get into a room pretty easily. Should we leave? Like, yeah, get yeah, away yeah, from yeah, here really quick. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, the guy is yeah, literally yeah. standing at the door listening. Yeah. 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 Nah, you walked walk, walk 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 far enough into the forest yeah. anyway yeah. Yeah, to yeah. pop out the ruby. Yeah, we're, we're in, we're in the, we're in the, we're in the forest. Um, um, but I was yeah, saying, so yeah, I, I can easily get into her house at night as a bat and then wait for her there. and I will just be there in the morning and she won't see me. But the moths is an issue. We need to we get up there and get rid of one of the need to be in front of the house, in front of the doll's house. No, no, I'm just saying that if because she, it, she has the moths as a fair, if she, if she can see the moths and think of them, she knows that she's seen someone oh, else. Oh, you just need to throw the moths out the you window. You just need to get rid of one of the moths, right? Is that no, right? No, 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 and then no, the point no. is that if, if the plan works correctly, then she knows that it's worked. Oh, no, I could get rid of one of the moths. Yeah, yeah because she needs to remember three moths, not four. You guys are clever. Yeah. You guys are getting good at D&D. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. Yeah. So you so, still don't know how to make a perception check. Oh, <laughs> no, it's, oh, it's, oh, it's not seeing all the moths. It's the no, point of moths. Because she sees, plumbing she looks at the moths first. She sees, so when she looks back on them back in the day, she'll remember three moths. She knows she has this weakness. So she, she, has, yeah, yeah. she knows she has four yeah. moths. So if, she's, if she can remember three moths, then obviously one of the moths was the thing she saw first. Yeah. I'm just but really, if she calls back and she sees four moths and she's like, Oh Shit. crap! Someone I must have else seen, seen something me. else in my room that yeah, morning yeah. that I don't know what it is now. Yeah, but why don't so? How long will it take her? How long will it take her to realize? Will she just look at the four moths and immediately don't know? Don't moths don't live that long. <laughs> not not necessarily. But because she, she has will to immediately think go on the defensive or she will, offensive. She will think back to it. But yeah, because if she looks and just sees three moths. But she has immediate <laughs> blindness to it. It's not like there's a temp a moment where oh, she's yeah. like four and then. So she so she sees you. As a bat, as I'm assuming. But she, no, she, I can she just be me. Oh, I can just be yeah. me. Because I'll get in there. And, uh, and then... I'll kill one of the moths. You, so you, you, eat sne it. you sneak Eat in, it. Eat one of the kill moths. Kill them off. And we wait in there. Yeah. Morning! Yeah. But she won't, really but she won't know that yeah. he's there. She'll just go so about it. Be That's what I mean. And then Not what touching are, you! What do, we, what do we do with that though? Then you kill her? Well, then I've, I've, I'm invisible and to then her. We and then we burn the tree we can take advantage of that. Or we just burn the tree down while she's asleep in it. 
<laughs> Why not? Well, we I figured out this plan. So a little I love bit that in D and D, like plan B or C is always let's just burn it down. <laughs> like that's always the case. I, I mean, mean, we gotta I see mean, it not, but You can then <laughs> you can then get out, and we can, you know, be like, hey, knock knock, come on down, and start a fight, and then you're really useful in the fight. I mean, I could just stab her in the neck as yeah. she's walking down the <laughs> stairs, or you push could... her down the stairs. I could do a million things. Push her out of the treehouse. Like I imagine there's like a. When she goes up to the window with the box. As you guys are talking, you look up because you hear some rustling through the branches above. <laughs> yeah, hide, hiding, hiding. And you see, flying above you, on a flying rocking horse. That's not creepy. A, a towering, hulking mass of a woman. Okay. Flying above you towards the tree. Oh my uh, God, the, what the a tree towering, house hulking mass of a woman. <laughs> I'd say she's the size of a yak. <laughs> a hag sized yak. A hag sized yak. You see a hulking mess of a woman, she's impossibly old. She's hunched over as though the weight of her bulky arms was too much for her spine to bear. Her face seems almost like it's painted on and chipping away at the many deep wrinkles. Hmm. Her left eye socket stands bare and gaping and she wears a wide skirt of red and white and bows in all places. However, none of the fabric seems to move as it should, rather moving in one piece as though it's carved out of wood. Out from between her shoulder blades sticks a proud, large golden key with a dull finish. Oh, there's something she is expressionless. Mm. You can, you can I quickly, I quickly that. turn back to number fourteen and go, "Hey, number fourteen, what? <laughs> number fourteen, do you know what the key, what the deal with the key on her back is?" Yeah. I, uh, I do not know a great deal about it. Just that she winds it up when she wishes to move faster. Oh, that's yeah. really weird. She is good, good to know. She's weird. She is essentially weird. clockwork. It is one of the reasons she keeps automatons Perception around. Perception check. She's weird. <laughs> That is no, weird. Weird. Yeah, you <laughs> are able to notice. You can add a d4 because right. the blast from the unicorn as well. So uh, that's that's six plus. Oh, uh, look. The, wow. That's, yeah. She's, six plus, she's plus she's four. She's super weird. Weird. Uh, weird. Weird. That is a good Good job, would you? Good contribution. <laughs> Hags are weird. <laughs> the more you know. <laughs> there she is. She's oh. finally come home. Fantastic. Oh, oh yeah. She wow. is weird. Yeah, that's that's horrifying. Yeah, I no think that. that is a correct assessment. Yeah, I'm good, good, good assessment. I'm gonna do another assessment on her. I'm gonna check real quick. Yeah, she's f- weird. No, yeah, she's yeah, weird. yeah, 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 well, yeah. well observed. Mm. Yeah, key coming out of her back. Yeah, yeah. back. Classic sign of weirdness. Exactly. Classic sign of weirdness. I think she'll burn really well with a flamethrower. Oh, oh, Greg, oh, Greg, oh. calm down. I'm just saying. Action, and go. I I can't do burn. it right now. Burn. Three, two, one, burn. Three, two, one, no. Burn! Burn! No! That's where we'll end this episode. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Quite literally. Yeah, so... I think legit. So yeah, as you are preparing for... Uh, so, sorry, we saw her flying over. Yep. And then... Rocking, uh, rocking horse, She's, she seems to have not seen you on the ground. Yeah. She's heading home because she was told by her overseer. Yeah, right. Some right. guys here are causing mischief. And she's making her way home. Uh, so now you know that she is heading home and you've got a plan for something to do. I think we try and hide until nightfall. Well, yeah. uh, hide through the night. Yeah. Yeah. Thing, good hide thing we nightfall. have to execute this plan at the next start of the next yep. session. <laughs> Tomorrow. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna go we're, now. Okay, hey, she we, out. we jumped the gun a little bit <laughs> earlier. We're, we're definitely humbly, going away now. We've come to okay. humbly apologize. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we are toys. We are toys. I am we are toys. Mm. This is going so bad. I, I think we have to me. kill this little thing. If you were confused about who number 14 the Warforged was, then it's because you haven't watched the Isolation Games. It's a mini-series we did last year. Go and check it out over here. And also, subscribe to the channel.